Hi you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to go freestyling. I know I haven't gone freestyling in a while. Um, I think the last time I went was with my homegirl, but she is not in town. She is out of town right now, so I have to go out by myself, which is fine because, you know, it pushes you to meet more like-minded people. It's good for us and it's good for the soul. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn your post notifications on so that you are notified when I upload a new video. It is currently Friday night. Initially, I was supposed to go to work tonight, but I ended up taking forever to, you know, finish all the things that I needed to do today. So I decided to freestyle instead of staying at home and I will be going out alone by myself today i went out to eat alone i have never sat on a I restaurant alone before but i feel like that's something we should all learn to do leave a comment down below if you've ever gone out by yourself or if you have anxiety about going out by yourself or if you like going out by yourself because i need to hear from y'all so yeah guys so i am gonna go ahead and change i already curled my hair i'm gonna put it up to the side like i usually do i just wanted to give my hair a break so i've just been using the hell out of this wig which is fine i'm going to try a new place that was actually recommended to me so that is where we're going tonight. I hope that it's worth it because I have to drive, I think, 35 minutes away from Dallas. It's in Frisco, which is like a really upscale area. And that's where we want to be, girl. I want to clarify freestyling. Freestyling, you could freestyle for literally anything that you want. You can freestyle for new friends. You can freestyle for like-minded people, you can freestyle for a wealthy husband, you can freestyle for whatever you want. It is not illegal for women to go out alone by themselves. I know some people are very scared or just overprotective with their safety and stuff like that. And of course we have to be careful. I'm always careful and I always have pepper spray on me. And I don't think I'm bringing my expensive bag tonight i'll probably bring something that i don't care about but i also have this notebook you guys and this notebook helps me keep track of places that i haven't been and places that i have been or places that i would like to go and i suggest that you guys keep like a little notebook um, wherever you are whichever city state country just keep a notebook of you know places you would like to go and just try them once a month that's how i kind of like keep track of you know places i've been what works for me what doesn't work for me i definitely recommend it oh and i also forgot you can also freestyle for a sugar daddy which is you know what some of you ladies always ask me about and i personally feel like i'm not really necessarily looking for a sugar daddy i'm looking for a rich husband so you guys i'm past that age i'm past that stage so for me, I want to attract a wealthy husband and it takes a lot of effort. I honestly don't know what I'm going to wear, you guys. I'm trying to figure that out now. And then after I change, that's when I'm going to put my hair up and to the side. It just gives me a classier look when my hair is like up to the side. I never actually wore this wig down like this. I like to be strategic with everything and plan it out and plan what I'm going to wear the day before. But this was unexpected because like I said, I thought I was going to go to work, but I didn't end up going to work and I don't want to waste a Friday. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and change because it's getting late. So I'll see you in a little bit. I really don't like to freestyle late, but at the same time, you just never know you just never know i like to freestyle earlier in the daytime because a lot of times the men they don't like to be out late at night they like to go to bed early they're working these are the heels i'm wearing you guys it's versace darling and i'm wearing these heels with my black romper which i will show you guys right now tell them move okay you guys so this is the top this is actually a romper and yeah, this is something simple. It doesn't always have to be like extravaganza because we're not going to a five-star restaurant. This is 
just something simple that you can like throw on or whatever so this is what it looks like this is what we're wearing okay i feel like i'm glowing i'm sorry y'all i'm tripping it's not a romper okay. tonight to meet us a wealthy husband you can wear something so basic and your heels can literally dress it up and i feel like that makes your whole outfit jewelry shoes hey you guys so i am in the parking lot i just got here it seems like it's active because i drove past there and this is frisco i'm in frisco right now since i'm by myself i'm not going to be taking my purse i'm going to be leaving my purse in my trunk i'm only gonna take my id and a debit card since you know i'm by myself so you know i will feel much safer to just bring a card with me i think i'm hungry i think i'm gonna eat they do have food let's go ahead and go inside i was like it, this is kind of far a far drive but sometimes you kind of have to go a little bit further i usually like to wear my chanel bag because it is a cheap man repellent literally so i'm just gonna um go inside order some food and you know just be out you know and we also have to not go out for what we want but also should go out for ourselves you know to treat ourselves and to love ourselves ladies it pays to do your research as you can see <laughs> these are not rentals this is a residential area okay hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked by the way just got in time girl so here's the tea okay i haven't even sat down for five minutes like i haven't even sat down for five minutes right and i was already approached um a little bit of what i did was i walked in there um straight to the bar you know where they had the food and I actually, you know, sat down, you know, I haven't even sat down for five minutes and somebody already offered me, you know, drinks, food and whatever else I wanted. And I gracefully accepted. I held my head high and I walked in there like I was that girl. And, you know, I was able to attract somebody to pick up the tab and yeah ladies so this is just a tactic that you guys can use when you guys freestyle as well be confident be fun be flirty but still classy at the same time i'm telling you it works every time hold your head high and walk around like you deserve that ring and you deserve that mansion and that g-wagon girl <laughs> And most importantly, do not engage in conversation with men who have not offered you a drink or offered you anything to eat or offered you anything at all. Move away or walk away and go to the opposite side of the bar. Do not let them entertain you or talk to you for free. Also, do not stay until the club or bar closes. Leave before everyone else. It shows that you have a life and more important things to do. And it's a challenge. So don't stay until the lights come on. All right, you guys. I'm home now. And the kids are all over me. Oh, my God. My sweet pooch. My sweet tooth. You said a sweet boy? I know my sweet boy. You said a sweet boy? Oh, my God. Hash Brown loves kisses, you guys. He is weak for them. Look at him. He's so weak. He can't even sit up straight. <laughs> As y'all see, um, they picked up a tab. Okay. I got some leftovers for tomorrow that I need to put in the fridge. You know what I hate? I hate when they ask, so what do you do for a living? 
hate that question because it just catches me off guard because when I'm at work at the strip club, they don't ask me like, what do you do for a living? So like when I go out in public, you know, to like somewhere that's not like the strip club, I get asked like, what do you do for a living? The guy that I was with that y'all saw, he had friends with him and his friend actually asked me, what do you do for a living? Baby, why does that matter? Okay, why does it matter? Why do you need to know what I do for a living? People are so nosy. Like, I mean, isn't it obvious they have a big butt? Like, isn't it obvious what I do for a living? I'm talking about like with men and stuff that I just met. I'm not gonna tell you what I do, like for real, for real, until like I actually like really know you. Hi, baby. Wanna say hi to the people? Say hi, baby. He's such a sweet boy. He's such a sweet. Boy. But yeah, y'all. I hate when they ask that. Leave a comment down below when you are a stripper, sugar baby, or whatever. And these men ask like, "What do you do for a living, baby?" I'm not gonna tell you what I do for a living. That's none of your business. And so um, the guy that actually was interested in me, he is recently divorced. He was divorced for like a year, he said. And to me, that's a red flag because baby, you just got out of a divorce. So that means you got to re-up. Meaning like you got to re-up depending on your net worth or depending on, you know, what you do or how much you make. You know, when men get divorced, it's a loss. Like they take a lot of losses because nine times out of 10, the wife gets half of everything. And even then, like, you know, depending on you know, the situation, she'll get spousal support too, you know, which is a check that he got to pay her for spousal support. So to me, like that's like an automatic red flag. Yeah, you guys, I'd be paying attention to the red flags and yeah it's the red flag like if you just recently got divorced i gotta take hushy out hold on we'll finish this conversation i gotta take the baby out okay Ooh, let them see you baby let them see you baby <laughs> so y'all ladies pay attention to all those red flags and don't ignore the red flags, girl. It'll save you so much time. Uh, the guy was a gentleman, though. You know, he offered to walk me back to my car to make sure I was safe and stuff like that. He's barely making the cut. I typically don't deal with men who are, you know, under 50. Because, baby, 47, you're still kind of young. And that's probably why you got divorced no shade or anything yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and subscribe to my channel leave a like for me comment down below what you thought getting ready to do some fall decor i want to do some like diys and you know stuff like that i am working tomorrow it is what time is it it is the real time is 2 46 a.m that's another reason why I left early because I do have work tomorrow. So I wanna get ready for work. I'm gonna get my work bag ready so that I'm not late tomorrow and that I'm on time. I know you guys can see the pumpkins in the background. The pumpkins are going to be painted. I'm gonna paint them white and um, do a DIY. I'll probably add that, but I'm going to do that in a different vlog, maybe my stripper vlog for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if I motivated you to freestyle. But girl, when you freestyle, make sure you go to upscale places. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you look at the reviews. Make sure you see the words upscale and, you know, mature crowd. And that is like what you want. This lifestyle is not about looks and it's not about, if anything, you should like stay away from looks. But if you're like so hypnotized on the looks it's hard for you to concentrate on like the goal and the goal is to be a well, rich wife right it's to be a rich wife yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys